This is a Clark University podcast. My generation of activists believe that we had a responsibility to make our own debt in the wall of injustice. That was the responsibility we thought was left to us from our forefathers, parents, and from Dr. King. But you graduates must realize as you become alumni that the next generation of students will join in community to challenge and to continue to attack the persistence of discrimination and the color line until we, as a people, accept the consequences of our history. That's Mary Frances Berry, a renowned scholar, civil rights activist, and the commencement speaker for Clark University's Class of 2022. Barry addressed a sea of graduates, donned in caps and gowns, and gathered under a tent on the campus green for the university's 118th commencement celebration on an unseasonably warm Sunday afternoon. I remember the time I spent with the late Dr. Benjamin Mays, longtime president of Morehouse College, a great leader who took Martin Luther King under his wing when he came to Morehouse at age 15 and helped to shape him into the man he became and so many others. We got honorary degrees together at Oberlin College in 1983, and at the time spent some joyful hours sitting on the porch, talking through our history. It's not a disgrace if you don't reach the stars, but it is a disgrace to have no stars to see. Wherever you go, whatever you do, remember you said, not failure, but low aim is the tragedy. I'm Melissa Hansen, a producer in Clark's communications office, and this is Challenge Change. President David Fithian, who wore his own Clark cap and gown in 1987, told the university's newest alumni that the day marked not just the end of their journey at Clark, but a new beginning. You came to Clark looking for answers about subjects that interest you, about yourself, and about the world. And I hope you found some. But as you leave here, I hope Clark has helped you to ask more different and better questions. Every question is a chance to hear something you may never have heard before. Every question is a chance to learn, almost no matter what comes back. This iterative process of questions and answers is crucial to your lifelong journey of learning and will enrich your life at every stage along any path. Julia Chun, who received a bachelor's degree in geography with a concentration in law and society, addressed her undergraduate peers, urging them to step forward into the future as graduates ready to take action. The world as we know it is stubborn, it can be hard, and it can be disordered. Changes will not come easily and thus moral courage is required. Moral courage is the willingness to act in the defense of moral or ethical reasons when the consequences may not be clear. Moral courage is not being the loudest person in the room. It is also not about being diplomatic and having one foot in and one foot out. It's not about being a moderate or remaining silent. In fact, it has little to do with political affiliation or immutable characteristics. It's about fully committing yourself to paying attention to the world around us and the multitude of realities that exist. Moral courage means to take action after careful deliberation, despite not knowing what is to come, but inviting new and exciting voices and experiences into our lives. There is no one path, one definition, or one truth. This next phase of your life is in your hands. Erica Pellegrino, who received a Master of Science in Communication, spoke to fellow graduate students about confidence and growth. Kicking yourself while you're down and ignoring yourself while you're up does not benefit you. I, for one, never believed I'd make it to college, let alone graduate with a master's degree. But I have, and I'm not embarrassed to admit that I struggled. But I am also not embarrassed to admit that I am proud of myself for forging forward. Without this university, I never would have met the people who would end up changing my life. I never would have been able to realize that I, someone who's terrified of being noticed, can radiate real confidence. I never would have found security in both the relationships I have with others, as well as the relationship I have with myself. I owe my graduate experience just as much to the people who've supported me as I owe it to myself for the dedication I've put in. And while most of my friends and family get to see me walk across the stage, there are some people who won't. I think it's extremely important to honor those who have impacted us but never get to see, never get the chance to see the growth they've encouraged. With that being said, 
Thank you for everything, Dad. Professor Robert Deem Tobin, chair of the Clark faculty, recalled the ways in which COVID-19 disrupted the college experience for these graduates. They dealt with mask mandates, testing requirements, and Zoom classes while taking exams and defending dissertations. This has now become the story of your generation, an integral part of your identity, one that is different from everyone else's. This COVID experience has become your generation's experience. It will weave its way into your identity and mark you distinctively in the coming decades, probably in ways that aren't yet clear at all. Navigating college during a pandemic is just the first challenge graduates will overcome through their careers, noted Ross Gilman, chair of the Board of Trustees and a member of the class of 1981. There will be many curveballs thrown at you over the course of your lives. I can assure you that my four years at Clark both prepared me and has enabled me to not only face whatever challenges may have arisen, but to overcome them with confidence and enthusiasm. I know that you will find that to be the case in your own lives. Of course, none of us could have reached this point on our own. Not only today, but every day, you should take a moment to appreciate and say thank you to those who have supported you over the years. More than that, you should give them all a big, tight hug. Both you and they deserve it. Sebastian Royo, provost and vice president for academic affairs, urged students to savor the joy of the day and acknowledge their achievement. There have been many moments in the past leading up to this day, and there will be many others in the future as each one of you take your individual pathways. But this is the moment we get to enjoy and celebrate here together. Challenge convention changed our world. You all will recognize Clark's taglines, Clark's motto, and I hope that you will now appreciate Clark's commitment to supporting positive changes in our world. As graduates, you are now living with the skills to make good on Clark's motto. With degrees conferred, Fithian sent students out into the next phase of their lives. Today's world needs Clarkies. Today's world needs minds that can appreciate and synthesize a variety of perspectives. Today's world needs individuals who can think critically and creatively, who value research-based and evidence-informed solutions to complex problems. Today's world needs people who aren't afraid to be themselves and who aren't afraid to challenge convention and work to break free of the status quo. Alongside all of this, today's world needs, desperately needs, people with heart. Today's world needs you. To learn more about Clark University, visit clarku.edu. Challenge Change is produced by Melissa Hansen and Andrew Hart for Clark University. Find other episodes wherever you listen to podcasts. One, two, three. Clark! <laughs>